Hello everybody, and welcome to Hades, a game I've been meaning to play for a long time. I bought it like the week it came into early access pretty much, uh, and then just didn't play it because I didn't want to play it in early access. I didn't want to uh, like burn out on it before it was done. Uh, I had confidence in Supergiant, I've liked all of Supergiant's games, I love Bastion, I love Transistor, and I love Pyre as well. So I'm looking forward to this. A lot of people said it's their best game yet. We'll see. See how I feel. Um, but when it came out, it came out the same time as Spelunky 2. And Spelunky 2, as you know, a game I just couldn't ignore. So we're going to get in here and just see what this is about. I've seen little bits of people playing Hades. I've watched a few people do runs in Hades. But I have not tried it myself other than yesterday when I briefly tested things. But I didn't read any dialogue. So this is all going to be basically new to me. Let's do this. Hope everyone is having a lovely... What day is it? Thursday. A lovely Thursday. Okay. Empty save slot. Hell mode. For those unafraid of death and other difficult matters, the Pact of Punishment will make your life harder right away. Set this if you're a veteran of the cycle of death and rebirth or seeking a purer, more challenging experience. Caution. You cannot change this later. I'm not looking to not looking to do hell mode. Well, well, I'll worry about that in the future, maybe, if it sounds interesting. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Okay. Our tale begins. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Father. We're here in Tartarus. Big old gate. Is that Hades on the gate? Looks like it could be. All right, and we're just we're getting out of here, I guess. Okay, now I know that X is attack and A is dash. That's about all I remember from toying around with it yesterday. Okay, we can smash these up. Let's have a look. See what we got here. We got slash. Okay, so is it three hit or is it four hit? Okay, it's three hit. So swipe, overhead, stab. Seems like when you break these, it does like a, an, an extra effect. I don't know. It's like raining things down when you break the pillars. Proceed. Okay, onwards we go. We'll find out what uh what we're up to. What's going down. Okay. A mystery chamber. Try and stop me. Right. Should we fight this guy? I guess we're meant to fight this guy. Boosh. Oh, he seems to get stunned when we hit him. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, more people coming in. Oh, oh, 10 damage. Big hits. Okay. Boof. Oh, you do damage when you knock him into a wall like your doom fist. I'm into that. That's a very good, uh, very good little feature. How's everyone doing today? What have people been up to? Anything exciting? What are people having for their dinner? I've got a, a pork and black beans stir fry lined up for after this, which I'm very much looking forward to. Bit of leftovers, but should be pretty good. All right, let's deal with these uh, these guys first because they they look like casters to me. Yeah, they are. They're firing balls out. Okay, can we dash through enemies? Can, actually, can I touch enemies? I can. Okay, that seems like it doesn't hurt you to touch enemies, and you can kind of dash through the enemies. That's good to know. All good information. Boosh. Nice and easy. There she is. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Okay, so we're, we're Zagreus. That's our boy. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Okay, Athena. Looking very cool with that little owl on her finger. Very, very stylish. Still not eating yet, so who knows. Probably chili, man. I you, you, Chili, you can't beat a chili for me. The best. Okay, what do we got here? Your attack is stronger and can deflect, which turns foes attacks back against them which seems cool oh so when if they're attacking we can knock the attack back at them that seems pretty good your cast damages foes in a small area and can deflect 
So that's B. That's the B attack. And your dash deals damage and can deflect. Wow, you can deflect with the dash. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to go with a strong attack uh, for now. Seems like the simplest one. I know you can't hear me all the way where you are, goddess. But thank you. Everyone's got owl accessories these days. I mean, you know, you've got to get with the owls. Okay, so we got that thing up in the left now. Um, B to cast. Oh, interesting. Oh, and then it just drops back down. So what is this? What is our cast doing? Is there a way for us to see that? Can we, uh, can we bring up our casts? No, it doesn't seem like it. I wonder if that's just the default one. Boof. And then you pick it. You have to pick it back up to use it again. Well, we can try it in the next room. See if it does anything good. Seems like just a ranged attack. Okay, this uh, this is a trap. Okay, so you can dodge this. Can I run across it? Okay, you... Oh, they reset. Okay, so you don't have time to dodge to run across it, but you can dodge across it. Good to know. Okay, that does 50 damage. That's pretty good. It's pretty uh, pretty reasonable. Yeah, so enemies do seem to get a little bit stunned when you uh, when you hit them, which is nice. Surprise. Yeah, that is good. That, that's a nice attack to have in your arsenal. There, just especially given that we are mostly melee focused, to have a ranged attack. Oh, look at that deflect as well. That's very cool, and it fires right back at them. That's really nice, actually. Didn't think so. Okay, and we can gain one purple key. I where I can use this. Presumably a purple door. Each exit has its own reward. Oh, interesting. We got like a, a heart with a, a thing on it, and we got a pomegranate. Uh, let's go for the pomegranate. I love a pomegranate. Oh yeah, Hades, baby. Yes, yeah, my first time, Wayne. I know you. You are a veteran of this. Oh, big dashes on these boys or ladies. These louts. Oh, so she's got my cast inside of her now. Interesting. Oh, they, they come in fast. Yeah, so you see now when you use the cast, you don't get it back. Noted. You have to kill the enemy to get the cast back. Those dashes are pretty scary. Oh, they've got us. There is no escape. Interesting. Okay. That was quick. That was quicker than I anticipated. But that's okay. Now let's get into the, the meat and potatoes of the story. Damn it. Coming out the pool of blood. I'm home. The house of Hades. <clears throat> yes, carry on everyone. Don't mind me. Oh, there's some someone to talk to here? I saw oh no, that was just him talking. There's all the souls of the dead coming into the house of Hades. Hello, friend. Welcome to the house of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. Okay. So, uh, nothing else for Hypnos to say? Hey there, buddy. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? I love that beard. I don't know how he's uh, how he's fashioned that beard with the twist. Seems seems like it wouldn't hold. He must have a lot of spray in there. Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight. Thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Okay. Be on your way, indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. So we're just we're just trying to get away, much like all teenagers, just trying to get away from our dad, trying to be our own person. What is it now? I've a mountain of infernal parchment work. <laughs> Always doing the paperwork. Hey, buddy. Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. I do like I do like Cerberus. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. Can I do a curried mince thing? I don't know where to start with that, but it sounds really good. You gotta get your spices. I mean, in a way, chili is kind of a curried mince, it's just the spices that you use. You just gotta, you know, find a set of spices that works for you. There's a good boy. No. 
Do you pet all the heads? How do you pet Cerberus? This, dog, this, head, this head does not care. This head down here is just chilling. Okay, so you always pet the left head. Noted. The right head wants in on the action. The, the, bot, the middle head just couldn't care any less. Is very content. Anything going on over here? No, just an empty table. Nice, uh, nice bit of stained glass he's got going on in here. Look at this. Look at it. Beautiful. Oh, can we do something there? Examine. The an intricately crafted mosaic depicts the underworld king presiding over the enormity of his domain, whilst its Catholic residents look on in awe of him. Beautiful. Looks lovely. It is a nice piece he's got there. Really that great. Keep it down. <laughs> A lot of banter going on. Got uh, a little viewing, uh, little viewing angle over here. What do you do with your forty k of tokens? I don't know. I'm gonna have to start adding in more interesting rewards. I had some lined up. I just hadn't actually put them in. Um, but uh, any suggestions are welcome. You know, submit them to my inbox. Maybe not during the stream because I can't set them up then. You, Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. Achilles looking pretty fly. That fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. <laughs> you feel token shamed. Okay. The house of Hades. That dark and lavishly appointed layer of the underworld's king is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. <laughs> ah, so this is locked. Father's chambers always locked. Yeah, so that's the. Stay out of there. That's uh, our boy's uh, my big our old Dar's chambers. And uh, he's got some nice pots set up here. Doesn't seem to be doing too much. <laughs> Ten thousand to abandon the current game and play Hollow Knight. Yeah, come on. Maybe that's a hundred thousand. Maybe we'll talk. Do not despair, child. Such Nix. setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. He made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. <laughs> Wayne's starting a bidding war to stay on Hades. I it, Nix. I'm grateful Don't worry, Hollow Knight contact. will continue. I'll I give you my word on that. Risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Understood. Do like lot lots of very good designs so far. Big fan of the character yes, designs. Not not really a surprise from Supergiant. Supergiant always been pretty masterful in their character designs. So no real shocker there. There's a, a gate outside it looks like, but we uh, we can't go that way. So I guess we'll go through this big old purple door. And uh, see what lies in there. Hey room, I'm back. Hey room, use the mirror to go strong. Oh, is this our room? The chambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. When do I get horny? Whenever you want, Kyle. That's entirely up to oh, you. Come on, it's not that bad, is it? Rest? Question Can't mark. Sleep. Can't sleep. Okay, well, let's use the mirror to go stronger, I guess. Night and Boosh. Guide me. Okay. Oh, we got things in the mirror. We got, oh, I see. So five of those keys and we can unlock two new talents hidden in the mirror or hidden inside you. Shadow presence. Deal a bonus attack and special when striking foes from behind. Restore a small amount of your hearts when you exit a chamber. Restore 50% of health instead of dying when your life total is depleted one time per rank perform one additional dash in quick succession interesting some cool abilities there i mean honestly i'm i'm tempted to go with this uh this death defiance that sounds pretty good so maybe i should hold off to start with and we'll uh we'll save on for later okay, okay. is this like a why is the weapon room behind our bedroom? Seems a little bit, uh, a little bit strange. Anything going on over here? Oh, we can see the city of the I dead. Look this. at that. First, get past the retro shades of Tartarus. 
Easier said than done. And doubtless I'll be running into Meg. The River of Flame ought to be just beyond. Find a way up to Elysium from there, and after that... All right, let's give it another shot. Okay. That all sounds fairly doable. Back there. We can escape from the courtyard. So this is our this is our courtyard. Empty for now. Okay, got some keepsakes. Secret stash. Noted. Okay, so we got our sword. We got a spear. Need to find a key. Ah, I see. So we need more keys. There is the, the shield. Looks like a bow. And then two others. Well, we've got a key, so why not why not unlock there the bow? Let's do it. Coronach, the heart Coronach, the heart seeker. Over here. Whoa. The? Hello. Hello, buddy. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the small talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. slide has got a coin in his mouth. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. Okay, so this lad's our training dummy. If you insist. Okay, so we got hold X to fire. Boof. Press X, release X while flashing to power shot. Ah, okay, so there we go. So you have to just time it right. It doesn't seem to last very long. Okay, yes, it doesn't last very long. What's the damage like? So 70 if we power shot. If we overcharge, 60. If we release slightly too early, a little bit less. If we just quickly fire it off. Okay, so it scales up. And the max is if we nail it. We lose a little bit if we go too far, but that's not too bad. Press X while dashing to dash strike. I've oh, probably got to actually hit him. I did actually do it. I just didn't actually catch... Um... This pretty seems difficult to land. Okay, you just got really got to like whack them together. And then press Y to volley fire. Wham. So that's 20 damage. 40. So it seems like it's a shotgun if you get it up close. You want to hit as many as you can. Trace a blink punch. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like that. Uh, what's our thing here? Dark thirst. Whenever you find purple, darkness, gain 20%. I don't know what that means, but uh, we'll gain 20% something. Whoops. Well, that's that guy gone. He's back. Good. He's back already. Look at this. You thought I didn't see that coming, buddy? Alright. Uh, I guess let's take this bow and see where we go. Go over here somewhere? Ah, door. Escape! Perfect. Go. Just what we wanted. Ah, so the, the darkness is for the mirror. Is Noted. That, is, that, is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. The big man, Big Zeus himself. Boosh. Your lightning attack emits chain lightning when you damage a foe. Does 10 damage. Your special... Causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. That's the uh, the shotgun attack. Your dash causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. That seems kind of cool. Uh, these are all pretty good. I mean, I feel like the attack is the thing I'm using the most. Uh, but then maybe that'll be different with the bow. This one does more damage, but you use the special less often. Let's uh let's go with the lightning strike for now. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day. Oh gosh, I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> I was too busy looking ahead and looking at the dialogue. Okay, noted. Oh, we've taken 10 damage already. Composed of such innumerable, ever shifting, interlocking chambers, the underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Zeus is not the kind of uncle you want. Maybe not. Maybe not. I. Good thing I'm not dead. He's a little notorious, our Zeus. So does that hurt us when it lands on us? How'd that happen? No, not necessarily. Maybe it stuns us just a little bit. Break the pots. You got to break the pots. See if there's anything in them. No, but it does hurt enemies. Okay. Good to know. 
Oh, and I think that... Does that interrupt the attacks? Looks like maybe it does. Okay, maybe not if I... Maybe you have to be quite accurate with it. That's what you get. I kind of want this guy to... Oh, man, I didn't even see that. That was a trap coming at me. I've got to be very wary of those traps. Okay, yeah, that does actually break the uh, break the things. Yeah, see, look at that. It, it stops the attacks. That's cool. Okay, let's get some darkness. And these traps seem to deactivate uh, when you finish. Got some wine over here. We got a bow over here. Well, we have a bow, so let's go for the bow thing. I don't know if it, that will, that may not make any difference. It may just be the god that we're meeting. But uh, in lieu of any prior knowledge, we'll uh, we'll go this way. Oh, I didn't check my special actually. What's my special? Oh, it's just this basic thing. I wonder if uh, that's because we haven't unlocked anything uh, more advanced. Yeah, look at that penetration. That's fantastic. A divine arrow. There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I've heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Okay, Artemis, pretty much what we expected. I imagine the wine would have been Dionysus. Okay, let's have a look. Your cast seeks foes for a 10% chance to deal critical damage. So it increases our thing and criticals. So criticals deal triple damage, basically, plus 200% damage. I know I know this because I looked it up when I was watching Wayne. Dash strike deals more damage. Well, dash strike is quite hard to land. Any damage you deal has a chance to be critical. 3%, that seems pretty good. Um, let's take that. It's not a very high chance. But uh, I do like the theory of that. Uh, the cast damage going up actually might be kind of good as well. Oh, in fact, this has a 10% chance to crit. Let's let's try the true shot. Let's let's see how it, how it works. Like okay, so this is our list of things. So we can see our lightning strike. We can see our cast seeks foes. See if that actually. Okay, so so it has changed that now, and it will seek out foes, and it has a 10% chance to deal critical damage, which is nice. Obviously, we need to go pick that back up when we use it, so we can't use it as often as we can use our regular attacks. Oof. But we can always just go get it back. Big double shot. That's what we like to see. So far, so good. These enemies are not too bad. All things considered. There it is. There's the critical. Oh, they're very satisfying. I like the critical. We get another key. Always nice to get more keys. Keys open doors. Or unlock weapons, I suppose. Okay, we got a heart over here. We got a pomegranate over here. We didn't actually get to the pomegranate last time. Um, but maybe we should go for the heart. The heart might give us health. Health would be good. Let's just check it out. Okay. Fairly quiet room so far. Lats. Lats. That's for last time. Okay, can you can you dash through walls? You can. Can I dash through like any wall? Okay, yeah, I can, but <laughs> preferably not onto spike traps. Um, can I shoot through walls? Maybe some walls. Yeah, okay, these are, these look like they might be low height walls. I want to see if I can shoot through. Okay, so maybe not through those, but uh, noted. They absorbed my blow. Oh, interesting. These guys are yellow. Ah, so they've got like armor on them, maybe, and then they break, and then you can uh, get them back. Phew. Gain twenty-five life. Okay, so that does just give us life. Perfect. That seems ideal, to be honest. A bit more health is always going to be very valuable. Okay, so we can either get more keys or we can get more purple. That's a tough choice. I'm going to go with the keys for now. This, oh, this one has like a, a skull on it. I want to see if the skull means tougher enemies or if it's a boss. 
BRB, no worries. Witches. Witches. Yeah, so I wonder if the, the skull enemies are the armored ones. Does this have like unlimited range or does it go, will it stop once it gets past that line? Oh, shouldn't have gotten hit by that. Okay. Boof. I'm getting absolutely railed here. Got to make sure I don't get hit by the balls. You do not want to touch the balls. It's my, the first rule of Hades. Okay, perfect. Ah, got to pick up this key. Two keys, fantastic. That's brilliant. That's even better than one key. I'm hurt. Can't heal myself, but I can fight. Okay, so we've got a... This looks like a Hades coin. And this is uh, someone with a sword. This has got a like a red arrow next to it as well. Let's let's take this. Let's see what it is, see what the difference is. Again, this is all going to be stuff that we'll learn over time. So, uh -oh. no harm in experimentation, right? These these boys have got a uh, some launchers. Try and focus one of them down if we can. Oh, I put my uh, put my special inside one of them, and it's not the one I'm focusing, which is a bit a uh, bit foolish of me. So when you break their armor, it does seem to stun them. Yeah, so you can't shoot through those at all. It seems like. Uh, so they do eventually drop the special as well. So good to know. Oh, landed on me. That's troublesome. So those jump attacks do deal damage. They're very, very nippy, these lads. Ah, there's my uh, my special. Get that back. Might as well fire it off just to get, have that chance of the double damage. And it does pretty comparable damage to our main attack anyway. Yeah, so it seems like maybe the damage that breaks the armor is capped. So you can only do enough damage to break their armor. Yeah, that does home in. It doesn't home in like ridiculously. You still have to kind of hit the shot. I do like the bow so far. It's kind of nice not to have to stand right next to the enemies. This one was bound to show up, I guess. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Okay. <laughs> Of course, Ares. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. So uh, a very nice little blade he's got there. Seems it doesn't. It seems like almost too uh, small, you know. I mean, I guess he's the god of war. He's probably adept with anything. Beating the mid-level boss on second go. Nice. Oh, that's a mid they're, they're a mid-level boss, are they? Um, interesting. So, yeah, like, th this blade is a very, very cool blade. But I, you'd imagine Ares to have just, like, a huge sword, right? Um, but he's got this, uh, this little s uh, stealthy little shiver. Okay. Curse of Pain. Your special inflicts doom. After a brief moment, victim takes a burst of damage, so 80 damage. That's pretty good. That seems nice. Um, it doesn't say how long the brief moment is, but I guess we can test that. After slaying a foe, your next attack deals more damage. That is a good bonus, but it's not a huge... That's going to be good against multiple enemy things, but not as good against single target enemies. Your dash creates a blade rift where you started. Slashing Metal Vortex rapidly deals damage in an area. Also sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna try the Doom. I want to see what the Doom looks like. Power, Lord Ares. Maybe I'll get out of here yet. Okay, it looks like we're just going forward for now. Okay, now I'm pretty sure you can dash across these. Okay, yeah. So if you try and dash too far... Right. Uh, there we go. That is actually pretty quick, that Doom. 
That makes our special a lot stronger. Because it already dealt okay damage, but not like amazing damage. But having it also do that. Yeah, see, look at how much more potent that is. That's fantastic. It's actually really good. Okay, and we can just outrange these guys, which is fantastic for us. Okay, we've got some darkness. I need to just get all this. I'm using my old Xbox 360 controller, and it does sometimes get like a... See, I'm not touching the controller now. Yeah, it gets a little bit of drift. I think these things might explode. Yeah, they do. Okay. Noted. They look explodey. <laughs> Ooh, there's a big old purple vat over here. Shop. Let's see what's in here. Instant restore up to 19 hearts. I mean, that seems pretty good. You deal 50% damage striking foes from behind. Last. Okay, so it lasts for six encounters. Uh, this also lasts for six encounters. So these are temporary buffs, which they are. They are pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind the health. Let's uh, let's take the health. I'll just take this one. Uh, I'll hold off on the, the temporary buffs for now. Just to get a bit more of a feel for what we're doing. Um, and it looks like we're going through into the Hades coin. So I guess we'll find out what the Hades coin does anyway. Wretches. I wonder if these guys set the traps off. They're not really, they, it looks like they're, they might be avoiding the traps. It's difficult to say. Oh, I've got to use my cast as well. I keep forgetting. Remembering to use all the different abilities um, is definitely something. A decent range on that, to be honest. Yeah, that, that Doom is great. So does the Doom stack? Can you stack up like multiple instances of it? No, okay. It just, it just procs and then it procs again. That all seems pretty nice. Okay, more enemies coming in. So that special is not interrupting them. I wonder if that's because they're armored. We're not getting they're not getting interrupted by our attacks. Oh, we didn't see you come in. Little skull. Always troublesome. Yeah, that makes the that doom makes the special really good for taking out those little enemies, it seems like. Coin from the dead. Coin from the dead. A hundred coins. Okay, so that's just money. That's fantastic, though. We are have more than doubled our cash, which is pretty fantastic, I think. Anything else happening in here before we continue? Doesn't seem like it. All right, let's um, let's go onwards. Sun and enemies do, but these guys don't touch the ground. Ah, oh, right, because they're floating. Noted. Yeah, see, that's really nice for for dealing with the skulls. Oh gosh, I didn't see you guys come in. Skulls, very scary, especially when there's so many of them. Ah, oh, look at that big explosion. That's nice. Good night. Yeah, see, look at that doom. That doom is so good. I really like that. That feels really nice on that particular special because it hits so many... It just does the big spread, and then you get a big burst of damage just to finish everyone off. So yeah, you can dash across these. It seems like if you try and go too far, it won't let you. Um, but also you can't fall off, which is good, because I am someone that would fall off things a lot if you've watched me play Spelunky. Ooh, and health through here. I would love to get some more health. That would be just fantastic. Okay, get this guy sniped. Give him the beans. Oh, oh wow, it does actually, it, it homes more than I anticipated. It really did just completely turn around. So I guess, yeah, we, we couldn't dash across here. It won't let us do that. Lots of traps though, a little bit scary. These guys are pretty chill. I mean, they are very dangerous if they get up close to you, but they're, they're not too scary. I guess they are kind of the basic enemy to an extent. Oh gosh, walks right onto that. Big ball coming in. Got to watch out for the balls. Don't run into the balls. Oh, I'm still running into the balls. There's another ball, ball caster over here. 
Make sure we deal with her. The lock on is pretty good. I know you I see you can turn it off if you want, if you want to have full manual control over stuff. Which uh, is nice that they give you the option. A centaur heart. A centaur heart? Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, I just I, I just can't keep away from the balls. You know, they're right they they look because they're they're just glowing purple balls. They look really tempting. I just want to grab them. But you actually want to um <laughs> Unto the End has a lock on. Does it? Oh it never does it really? It has a lock on that it doesn't tell you about. Huh. That does not surprise me, honestly. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, okay, what's over here? Some candles. Oh, you can put the candles out. Really causing some trouble. Is this where we came in? I think this is where we came in. Um, okay, we're up to 100 health, but obviously that's our max health. Ooh, we can take even more health. Stack it up, baby. Let's get going. I want to be tanky. Oh, this is a little bit spooky. These guys with the big dashes. Oh, let's get away from them. Don't want to get ourselves in a corner. So yeah, so we see we only have the one cast of our special, so we just can't use it right now. We have to wait until we uh, get our abilities back. Ah, so being able to dash across there, that, that is really nice, because enemies... Are, I mean, these, those enemies will dash across, but these uh, melee guys, they don't seem to dash across at all. So it's a nice way to um, just get away from them, as you can just dash across. Perfect. Get our special back. I wonder if that refills if you forget to pick it up or if you just lose it. That's a relief. Max life going up again. Perfect. We're going in the right direction, which is our health getting stronger and stronger. Okay, so we've got more Artemis, or we've got um, like a big old bag of gold, it looks like. Uh, we're doing okay for gold. I haven't actually seen too many shops. I want to see, see more Artemis, because we've already got some Artemis stuff, so let's see what else she's got. It follows you into the next room. That's very good to know. Okay, um, I see that there. It does appear to be over a thing that could be a trap. Um, oh, hello. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying dangers far beyond the underworld prince's reckoning. Okay. And I can reckon quite a bit. I'm a little bit wary about stepping onto here, but looks like it's safe. Olympus, I accept this message. Okay. Your dash strike deals more damage. Still not a huge fan of that. Your critical goes up by 15%. That's cool, but we haven't done a ton of critical. Exit wounds for your cast. That's kind of cool, but I, the the thing doesn't seem to dislodge until... Um, the, the bloodstone doesn't dislodge until you uh, kill them or after a certain amount of time, but that amount of time is quite long. Uh, 100 damage is not bad, though. Uh, I mean, I guess, like, if it does leave, that would be nice. And we don't have a ton of other crit, so I presume we can pull this up. Um, I don't think we have base critical damage, do we? Because that we that first thing was now all of your things do critical damage. So we only have a 10% crit, and it's only on this 70 damage thing. So I'm going to try the exit wounds, I think. And we'll see how it goes, because if I leave an enemy for a while, then at least we'll get a bit of bonus damage, ripping the bloodstone back out of them. Okay. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. Hello there. Make it. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back. Like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? Well then. I'll have to go with the painful way. <laughs> Zagreus, ever the masochist. A man after my own heart. Don't threaten me with a good time, Megera. Megera the Fury. Alright, we should uh, we should get our thing on her, we should give her the doom. Oh we got a crit as well, perfect. Oh, she's quick. 
She's got big slashes. We want to make sure she doesn't dash in on us. Oof. That just does so much damage. Oh, I still don't have my thing. I need my exit wounds. Oh, there we go. We, we got the exit wounds damage. That's what we needed. Just make sure she doesn't stand near you. Whoa, okay. She's, uh, she's doing some... Uh, Bullet hell stuff. Pretty cool. Boof. Get away from her. Back to the bullet hell. Boof, boof, boof. I like that. That's very cool. Keep away, Zagreus. She's dangerous up close. Oh, getting, uh, getting boffed by the bullet hell. So she takes a while to charge up her direction, so you can kind of get away from her. Oh gosh, get off. Oh, that's very scary. I guess you can maybe get behind the pillar. No, that doesn't actually help. Ooh, we're very low on health here. This could be our end. Wow, these are... These are very scary. finish this guy off. That would be nice. Try and avoid these bullet hells. I'm not great at bullet hell. That's one of the things I always struggle with a little bit. Mm, I'd rather not, to be honest. But thank you for the offer. We've got to get over here. Make sure she doesn't charge in on us. Ah, oh, here comes the bullet hell again. Oh, we've got our thing as well. I should use that. Come on, Meg. Oh, that's so nice. I do really like that. It's very, very nice to have. Don't get uh, don't get cocky. Don't get run into. She's at it again. Oh gosh, almost got caught out there. That would have been bad. Oh, she's got a. Oh, she's doing uh, ground stuff. Get away from it. I got to focus on avoiding these. Give her the beans. Oh, this is bullet hell again. Down to two health. This could be our end. Oh, that's very scary. It's all going off. No! Ah! Close. So close. I think we almost had her there. But uh, she managed to triumph over us in the end. Well done, Meg. Ah, oh, I do like the blood in his hair. That's very nice. Supergiant's art direction is, is great. It really is. Give me more Meg. Yeah, I do like Meg. She's very good. Good run. Thank you. That was a, that was a decent attempt, I think. You know, we made it pretty far. Feel okay about that. A little sad we didn't finish her. must have been intense. She's fast and strong and beautiful and, um, anyway, I hope the fates are nicer to you next time. Thank you, Hypnos. Yeah, I, I hope so too. I could be, uh, I could be misremembering this, but I think people were saying that Hypnos, uh, the voice of Hypnos is Greg Kasavin, who is, uh, who is the lead writer for this game and also used to work for GameSpot, so you may be familiar with Greg Kasavin. If you ever used to, if you used to read GameSpot in like the 90s, 2000s, um, Sleepy Perv, yeah. Hello, who's this? Who is this? Some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. Grand, 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 grand opening deal. The house contract is often offering this particular renovation free of charge. Fountain Chamber Tartarus restores some hearts amid the gloom. Okay. 
Underworld renovation. Chambers may contain an infernal trove. Treasure chest worth more the faster you slay the foes guarding them. Ah, oh, okay, so we spend gems. I think they're, they're gems of some kind. Um, and that will that will give a chance for things to show up. I mean, I guess we may as well take this. It seems like it's free. So. Authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. What's that there? Something from the fates. So I guess there's just going to be a random chamber, uh, kind of like that shop that we found, maybe, that, that will heal us. And we've got a few other things. But we can't afford any of them, so we won't spend too long looking at them. Ooh, we could buy some decor for the house. Some drapery. Some bone drapery. Some skull tiling. Very, very sexy. What? I love that you start with the burnished gold, and they're like, hey, would you rather, instead of burnished gold, would you rather it was grey? Like, yeah, maybe. I don't know. That seems like a downgrade, if anything. Luxurious seating. Nothing there. A scrying pool. And a stately rug. I'm a big a big fan of this rug. Stately. Pool. Scrying. Good way of writing that. And some court music as well. Perfect. So this is our renovations, man. Beautiful. Who's that snivelling shade to your immediate left there, father? Already found someone new to do the busy work. And here I thought I was utterly indispensable. <laughs> That shade boy is my newly designated contractor. One whose responsibility is to work on this house. Though who shall pay for everything my subjects here demand, I do not know. Hades really rocking that bling. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that bling. Guilt me into funding the exorbitant furnishings you desire. <laughs> I mean... once we are finished with repairs for all the carnage you have sown throughout my realm... Then we might finally have time for all the needed renovations that have piled up. I, I could be mis uh, miscomprehending here, but it feels like the money we're earning is from smashing up Hades' place. So I don't feel like we're really paying for anything here. How are you holding up, boy? Eating well lately? All three mouths full and happy? Oh. Each terrifying maw of the infernal watchdog Cerberus responds affirmatively one after the next, as if to reassure the ever-doubting prince. Lovely. Give him a little pet, why not? I like it when I pet your other heads, huh? No. I would not just merely listen to this. <laughs> okay, anything else going on over here? Is our boy still here? No. Hey, Achilles. Happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles? I'm sure I wouldn't, lad. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them know. <laughs> Beautiful. And we can't go into these chambers, presumably, still. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. Yeah, see, so you can just dash through walls. That is fantastic. This man is a, a rift walker. Which I guess makes sense if he's the, the son of Hades, right? What once was a small lounging area within the house of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, warning the missing prince. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. Is Zagreus a classic character or uh, invented for this? I actually, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't ring a bell, but my my knowledge of the Greek pantheon these days is has been a while. Uh, I know most of the major gods, but it's possible. Uh, it's not a name that immediately rings a bell. Cause of death, Boulder. <laughs> These guys complaining about how they died. Darkness guide you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. Thanks very much, Nix. I won't forget you, Nix. I swear it. He is a classic. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't... Uh, couldn't say myself but uh inevitably this will lead me to read more into the greek pantheon okay let's get a, let's get the death defiance I, I do think i want this uh 50 of health like is a, it's great already and also oh 500 so it is a big a big jump to go further okay but that makes sense i mean presumably the more we upgrade the, the deeper we'll get i was at first a little concerned about the mirror i was like maybe i shouldn't use the mirror because i'm always uh i'm the kind of person who's like i didn't love um uh 
Rogue Legacy that much because it felt like you were super underpowered when you first played the game and you had to level up and like that progression is cool but it's not really what I'm looking for in a roguelike uh, but having seen a bit more of Hades I'm like okay no it makes sense these are these are kind of things you get early on and it's you kind of it sounds like you max out the mirror skills fairly quickly and then it's just a case of of which things you take um and then the game has ways to make itself harder after that so it feels like the balance on it sounds pretty smart so i'm willing to go with it i don't want to don't mess around if i want to do a no upgrades run down the line maybe i'll do that but uh for now i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with it. i'm gonna trust super giant little tip boyo you find any coinage while you're out there you'll be sure to pawn it off to that old kiron bowman guy use it or lose it pal use it or lose it and that's reasonable if we see karen so he, karen takes uh takes our cash right thanks mate good to know Self, always spend everything i earn instead of ever saving right so i mean to be fair that only that advice only applies if you are dying routinely and we actually have 16 we could have bought something else I, I should have a quick look and see if there was anything else we want to buy in here because uh, we could buy like the thing that heals us up a little bit um Restore a small amount of your heart when you enter a chamber plus one. So we restore one heart per chamber, which is not very much. But how many chambers did we go through that time? Maybe 10. An extra 10 health could have been the, the difference between life and death at the end there. Um, oh, we have three keys so we can unlock the shield. Let's have a quick look over here, see if there's anything, any new dialogue. The path toward the surface lies somewhere beyond all that. Okay, nothing too new. Just uh, just having a little look. And it tells you how far you went. So we went 15 chambers deep in the end. Zagreus is pretty complicated. Could even be Hades himself. Interesting. Yeah, Karen. <laughs> yeah, Karen, uh, everyone's favorite um, runner of the Styx River and uh, complainer to managers everywhere, Karen. Open up. Aegis Shield of Chaos, lend me your power. Aegis Shield of Chaos, okay, what are we working with here? Press X to bash, boosh. Press, hold X to defend, oh that's cool, and then boof. Okay, so what's that, 36, and then if you charge up fully, I didn't even see, because we went so far. 40? Okay. Okay, so you do, that does scale, but it doesn't scale too much. Um... Press X while dashing to dash strike. That seems... That seems to come out much easier on this than it does with the bow. That may just be a bow thing. Press Y to throw. Ah, oh, give it the Captain America. Oh, it even bounces off stuff. That's fantastic. Um, it really homes. Like, I'm holding up. I'm pointing, like, this way, and it's throwing down at him. The, uh, the lock-on is very sharp. Um, which is fine. I don't mind that. Um... I could see going back and forth. I also contemplated playing with a mouse because I really liked transistor with the mouse. Uh, keyboard and mouse is really nice because obviously using the mouse for the, the aiming is quite cool. But uh, they do say on the main screen, recommend the control. We recommend the controller. So maybe one day I'll try it with the mouse. But for now, I'm going to stick with what. Okay, so you just whack them, but then you also have the the bull rush. What was the other thing? Oh, the dash strike. I should see how much damage the dash strike does compared to a normal hit. So this is just a... There's no, there's no combo. It's just... You just whack them. Um, that also does the same damage. So nothing too different about that. You just... Just is what it is. And this does uh, 15 damage. So less, but that makes sense because it's ranged. This does the most... Okay, well, let's try the shield out, I guess. Boof. I like that you don't come through this door. You, like, drop down from above. Okay, and we got a, we got a hammer. Enchantments for my weapon. Daedalus hammer. Your bull rush charges up faster. That seems decent. Hold special to charge your throw for up to three, uh, up to three times base damage. Your special deals 50 damage to foes around you when you catch it. That also sounds pretty good. Um, tempted by that. Tempted by that because that's going to, you know, that's going to protect us from things around us. Daedalus, wherever you may be right now, thank you. 
Boof. Okay, so that's actually quite quite a good distance. Yeah, that is that's pretty reasonable. Zagreus could even be Dionysus, depending on who you ask. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Greek pantheon is, is weird, right? You know, much like all uh, pantheons, like, I'm sure there's a lot of complexity to them. Yeah, see, look at the, the damage on that. It's actually kind of crazy. Like, it's kind of better than my standard attack. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. And there's the special they call it special but it doesn't seem to use anything as far as i can tell so it's just like it's just your x attack and your y attack okay so you can't do anything while the shield is out which makes sense you know you don't have your shield he doesn't give it it's not like god of war where you give the old fisticuffs uh unfortunately all right okay we've got some health health is good as we've established um we got but i'm guessing this is poseidon um let's see what poseidon's doing why not we still got max health so far brimstones brimstones wall slam you do knock things back so you do get uh again kind of in the doom fist style beautiful crashing waves you do get the uh that you are slamming them into the wall and dealing bonus damage so it's worth testing that out it's got to be. Throw fish at enemies. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> just a, it's just a big super soaker. Just it, Poseidon comes out and yells, Wetter is better. Hoy there, little Hades. Hoy there. Do you not? We have a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Okay. Interesting. Um, Poseidon. A cool dude. A very cool dude. Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. Sounds right. I mean, it already kind of knocks foes away. Your cast damages foes in an area and knocks them away. And your dash damages foes in an area and knocks them away. 35 damage is pretty good on the dash. That would give us some versatility. Um... I kind of like the cast being a knock away and being an AoE because if it's in an AoE, I guess all of these are AoE, so um, let's let's try the flood shot. Looks like I caught a big one. The power of the sea should be of help. Oh, that is a good area of effect, actually. If that's if that's the actual area that it fills up, that's pretty good. Um, how is the uh, the voice sound? The voice sound. How is the microphone? Because I did change the. I've fiddled around with my compressor, so hopefully. The mic shouldn't blow out too much, but we'll see. Percentage damage will continue to be good later. I mean, that is true. Uh, I don't know how much your attack scales up, I guess. That's the thing I haven't seen yet, is whether there's a thing that says, like, oh, now your attack does 50 damage instead of 25. Um, sounds fine. I mean, it, I feel like it sounded okay before, but I noticed it was clipping a little bit here and there when I got loud. So hopefully it shouldn't do that as much now. Do these hit... Will the traps hit the enemies, I guess? Oh, it will. That's, that's pretty cool. And this does Captain America between them as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's try the boof. Okay, so it doesn't knock them back too far, but... Perfect. Ooh, a bottle of nectar. Who should I give this to? I believe, uh, if I if I remember correctly, I've heard people say, you, I think you give nectar to uh, the, the characters back in the base or you can give nectar to various gods whether i don't know if it's in base or if it's when you meet them out in the world but it's just kind of a it's like giving sake to people in Sekiro. try shouting uh, okay a shout warning oh my goodness look at that wow oh wow hello all right that's that's all the shouting i'll be doing for now smash this up just trash the place oh wow are they mines who is dropping mines pests pests now there's one way to put it i haven't used the bull rush at all actually uh it feels a little scary because all oh, right this is a shield you know i totally forgot that this was also actually a shield and it probably does block enemy attacks 
Oh, I need to go deal with this guy dropping mines. He is a problem. Yeah, see, so you just block the damage there. That's really cool. Okay. That sound. Melee is definitely a little bit scary, but I guess we do have the ranged attacks on it. Well, sure then. In the name of Hades. Ah, here's our boy Dionysus, I think. Hey there, Zag man. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. There's a, a good old tanker he's got there. Drunken strike. Your attack inflicts hangover. For four seconds, victim keeps taking damage. So it's every half a second. So that's four. four there's eight procs of it. So it's 32 damage, basically, over four seconds. Um, but you can stack it each time you hit. That's kind of cool. Your special inflicts it. Uh, and it's five damage. So this more. And I'm using my special more at the moment. So I'm tempted to go with that. If your health is low after encounters restore to the threshold. That seems really good. 30% of 50. So was with that's like 15 health. I mean 15 health is not that high. Um, but that does seem quite good. Um, I'm, I'm going to take this. I'm going to try the hangover. We haven't tried it yet. Um, you know, that may give us a little bit less sustain, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Right, so we've got more more mirror. We haven't seen what this bag is. The bag of gold. Let's see what the bag of gold involves. I think I hear the river. Oh, here's Karen. Oh, we haven't got any money. Hi, Karen. Oh, that is a good look. Look at that. Just vaping. Cyber vaping in the underworld. Why, good to see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. Did he get, like, extra British for that line? What's up, mate? Good to see you. What? <laughs> just, just destroy the souls of the undead, as you do. Infernal wares of the Stygian boatman, Charon, lies sprawled about. Available for sale, Doomever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me. I do like that this has, uh, he's got a, he's got a centaur heart. He's got, uh, an Artemis boon, and then he's got what appears to be, like a, I mean, it's some kind of fast food. I don't know if it's like a, a taco or a, a kebab or something with some chips. Or it's meant to, like, uh, yeah, delicious. Very snazzy. We can also give him a uh, a nectar, but I, I don't really know Karen very well yet. I don't know if Karen's the first person I want to nectar up. I'm gonna say I think I'm gonna save it for someone in the main base if I can. Wayne says you can give it to the dog, so maybe, maybe that's an option. I'll think I'll certainly consider that. Got a Zeus room up ahead, looks like. So I'm guessing the the thing on the door seems to just be what you get from it. Boof. I'm just really liking this special build at the moment. I want my thing back. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm getting lasered. That's no good. There we go. Done him. Absolutely done him. So you've got to focus on that main enemy. The the other skulls are kind of... Obviously, it's good to deal with the adds, but the other skulls are kind of distractions. What's this? Damned lost souls with nowhere left to turn congregate in deepest to Tartarus, where they fuse together with the earth itself into odious forms which defy description. Okay, noted. They basically turn into big crystals. <laughs> Um, oh, I can gift as well. I guess to, to Zeus, presumably. That shield of yours called Aegis. Why, in fact, it's mine from long ago, young man. I have no more need of it, of course. But how you found it, you shall have to tell me once you're here. I do like Zeus's voice. Very good voice. Hello. Sounds like I voiced him, to be honest. Your attack emits chain lightning when you damage a foe. After you dash, just before getting hit, a bolt strikes a nearby foe. 
Okay, so you have to dash like at the right time after you take damage or foe is struck by lightning. Hmm. I'm always a little bit wary of... It looks quite good. It's a good amount of damage. I'm always a bit wary about things that rely on you getting hit because obviously you don't want to get hit. So it is nice because if you're having trouble, it's going to get you out of trouble. But A, you don't really learn how to fight the enemy because it gets killed. You get like any enemy that you're struggling with, uh, you get killed. <laughs> they just get killed and you don't really find out what you're doing wrong. Uh, but also, ideally, you're not taking any damage in an encounter. So um, I kind of like the idea of this, uh, but I am a little concerned about how how well i'll dodge the things um like i feel like i've not been dodging in reaction to stuff too much um like counter dodging but i've also not been using my base attack too much let's let's try the lightning reflexes we'll see we'll see how it goes no harm in it maybe i'll try and dodge more precisely and i'll get hit more as a result Very nice. Boof. Nice and easy. Another key? Anything else in this room? Okay, there's a pomegranate over here. And there's a, a Hades coin over here. I don't actually remember... Oh, the Hades coins just give you money, don't they? Uh, which is nice, but we've already gone past a shop. Uh, let's try the pomegranate. We didn't get the pomegranate last time because I died. Near misses is a big window on the dash. Okay, good to know. Oh, that is, that's, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. I mean, it's it's not like ridiculous, but it's pretty good. See, look, I'm even hitting with the 50s over here. That's actually kind of crazy. Kind of wild damage, if you ask me. We got a we got a spawner or just random skulls. I do like this this shield. It's uh it's very cool. But big fan of this ability we've got. Palm of power. A palm of power. It is a pomegranate. I was right. The power of the gods. Okay, special inflicts hangover. So we already have that, but it would level it up. Oh, so this is going to level up one of our abilities. Uh, the flood shot, I feel like I've not used too much. Uh, I kind of want the hangover to go up because the hangover is really nice. Um, and that's going to hit eight times. So it's basically an extra 16 damage. Um, let's take that for now. I do like that. Uh, the lightning reflexes seems quite good though. Uh, it's just going to be a bonus. I'm not going to focus too much on dodging at the last second. But, you know, that presumably will proc somewhat frequently. Um, it's just an exclamation mark. I like that. Or we could get uh, uh, some purple. I want to see what the exclamation mark is. I wonder if it's random or if it's um, a specific thing. I'm glad that wasn't me. Oh, hello. You know, Prince, it's been Hi, Sisyphus. I see those Fury sisters quite as much lately. The main one, what's her name? She's on your case now, isn't she? If you say so. You mean Megara? On my case. Oh, right. Mega is one of the sisters. Okay. Not to let me out Makes sense. I guess that means you've got yourself a break. About damn time they gave one to you, sir. Yeah, shouldn't you be pushing this boulder or something? Sisyphus furtively offers a choice of benefits. Healing? Darkness? Or Karen's Obol? Okay, so he's going to give me a thing. How much health do I have currently? I can't actually really easily see, um, but not a ton. 22. Interesting. Karen's Oval. I guess that's just more money or more darkness. That's... Oh, he gives, us a, he gives us a big old burger. Beautiful. Sure, I'll take that. I'm not too worried. We'll, we'll, we'll get the upgrade currency in good time. And also, you seem to get more upgrade currency the further you go. So if the healing lets us go an extra few chambers, then presumably that's going to be a benefit anyway. You know, obviously the more, the longer we survive, the more we'll earn. So probably works the out okay. Oh, the wretches are the ones that drop bombs. Oh no, they're just these guys, right? Ah, 
The bull rush is okay. I, I definitely, I'm definitely just focusing on the special at the moment because it does so much uh, good team damage. I want to try knocking an enemy into a wall. It's quite difficult to see. Okay, you get about another 25 damage. Which is good. That's good damage. And there's our healing. Max life 25. Perfect. Anything else happening in here? Just make sure we're not missing too much. I don't know how often like things show up in the rooms after the fight. It seems like not very often, but occasionally there's... You know, we found that one fountain that we could buy from. And another palm of power. This is the run. Hopefully. We shall see. We're gonna destroy that as quickly as we can. Oh, I've gotta deal with the uh There we go. It looks like there's maybe another one over oh there's multiple over here. Perfect. Oh, don't wanna dash, I wanna power up. Delicious. Okay, we can increase the, the hangover. It only goes up by one this time, so not quite as good. Um, it's still an extra eight damage. Um, I wouldn't mind. This This is quite a big buff. This is, you know, over 50% additional damage on the, on the flood shot. And I do like the flood shot. So uh, we'll take that. I'll try and keep in mind that I want to use it. We've got 124 coins, so we might be able to buy something this time. Uh, or we could go for more Poms of Power, but they seem to be upgrades, and the upgrades... At the moment, I don't have anything I desperately want to upgrade. So... Kieran's shot. You got anything else to say? No. I suppose maybe you only get to speak to them once per run. So we can't afford Dionysus. We could afford a Palm of Power, which we could have just gotten anyway. Um... But again, I don't necessarily know that I want to upgrade that much. I will buy... I guess I'll buy the darkness. Um, I believe in a thing called love. A bit of that purple sticky icky, as they say. Boof. That's actually quite a good, like, test on the range of that. That you can see how far it is to break uh, things based on your explosion. And I think... Is this the, the boss fight? It does look like it might be the boss fight. Ooh, we indeed. I'm here, Meg. <sighs> Ever stubborn, are you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Well, that's a promise, Meg. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. Very good voice. Big fan of that voice. Very sexy. I'm a little scared because, like... I'm trying to get close to her for these attacks, but also she does the big, uh, the big swing, and that does do a lot of damage. I'm a little bit worried about that. Oh, she's impervious. Oh, there, there's the hangover as well. Whoa. Okay, right. That doesn't actually hurt too much, but it, we should probably try and avoid it. I think she might be, yeah. She's got that shield around her. Now yeah, she's still at the uh, the big business. Taking a lot of damage here. Oh, keep getting hit by those. Right, let's uh, reorient ourselves. Oh, keep dashing back into them. It's just a little bit more chaotic with the shield flying around. It can be a little bit more difficult to keep track of. I keep turning around. Oh, the Death Defiance, of course. 
Where's my uh, thing? I, I I was inside her, of course. Easy does it. Oh, she's out. She's doing this thing again. Just keep out of the way. I guess I could block it. That would probably be sensible. That's kind of nice. Oh, don't stand on the spikes. Oh, we got her. Perfect. She's the horniest so far. Yeah, block it. You did say that. I I, I wasn't paying attention to chat during the fight, but uh, but we figured it out. Block the block the thing. Use the shield as a shield and not just throwing it at things. Kids Boom. Know what to do with Titan blood, battled out of Tartarus with the I shield of chaos. No way to patch up. Got to keep going. Okay. And that death defiance saved our saved our behind there, which is very nice. Anything over here? It's like a little Medusa head. Pretty cool. Anything happening over here? This seems pretty cool. A little shrine. Is that Meg? Could be. Could be. Some more uh more people over here. Very nice. Okay, stairs up. Let's take the stairs. Thank you very much. How did you? Uh, don't mind me, father. <laughs> oh, Hades, that's just Hades being annoyed that we got up here. Restore health. Perfect. A little sup from the fountain. Can sell. Oh, cool. So we can sell things if we're not using them. Uh, if we want to get loads of gold. So the lightning reflex is actually worth a lot. If we wanted to sell it, we could do. Um, I should see if there's anything I want to buy before I just go selling stuff. Slain foes have a 15% chance to drop health items. That's not bad. There's only three encounters, but it's not too bad. 23 darkness. I mean, that's very cheap. I don't see why I wouldn't buy that. Move speed is cool. Uh, let's let's get this, because this is kind of like a free heal in a way. Well, not a free heal. It's 25 Karen coins. I could pick this up fairly quick. Uh, honestly, a bit quicker than I was expecting. I mean, I'm, I mean, I don't know how well I'm doing. How well I'm doing of Sharon. Um, Karen, rather. I, it should be Karen, right? Like, it should be a hard huh. Um But, uh, yeah, it feels it feels intuitive. It's weird. Watching it, I feel when I was watching it, I was like, I'm going to have trouble telling people, telling uh, when it, where attacks are. But when you actually play it, it's a little bit easier to know. I will also say, uh, this shield throw is just absolutely nuts. So I don't know how much of that is me and how much of that is... This incredible ability I got at the start. Trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld, but the prince decides to barge in anyway. I barge where I please. I love to barge. Okay. Um. I guess we'll proceed. Thank you. And we're into area two. Now we're getting somewhere. Ashfordel. Pretty cool. It's a big skull. Is this a trap? This seems like it should be a trap. Okay, so there's um some some purple stuff over there, some of the sticky icky. Doesn't seem like there's it's anything over here. here. I'll give it that. Oh, we can have a little look. Lots of lava pits. Kind of what you'd expect, I suppose. Um, all right. Let's. Uh, I guess we're going to take this uh, ferry because there doesn't seem to be too much else going on. Doing well for my first few runs. Thank you very much. That's good to know. Skull crushers. Skull crushers. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Get away from me, you bad boy. This is Legend of Zelda. Oh, they leave lava on the ground. Oh, the lava maybe just spit out from somewhere. Okay. Do we get them both? More lava. 
Another skull crusher. How many more of these are there? Okay, you can kind of bait them down early if you want. Good to know. Boof! Right there. Another ten darkness, Fine. perfect. Love that. Keys? Or uh, can we fall in this? Oh, you can. Ow. Okay. So this one you can take damage in. You just got to be careful where you stand. Good to know. You can dash across it. That seems fine. You get a little bit of leeway, it seems, on when you stand in it. Uh, I'm going to go for the keys, I think. And we're off. I think I took a bit of damage there standing on the edge of that. Who's Dell? <laughs> Oh, hello. Flingers. Flingers? Don't you go flinging at me. Oh, this is this is where it gets difficult. Precision platforming. This is where I'm going to get in trouble. Oof. Well, we made it through. Kind of by luck as much as judgment. It could unlock a weapon back at home. Could do other things as well. Oh, some health. Perfect. Just what I needed, to be honest. I may have to try all the controllers and see uh, see which ones work best. Um, this feels fine, but I, I don't know if I should spend more time with... Uh, try and see if the DualShock 4 works better or not. Uh, I really want a new Xbox controller, like uh, one of the Elites or something, but... For my PC, but it's such an investment. They are really nice, but... I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, someone's on the theremin. Gorgons. Uh oh, don't look at them, Zagreus. Big wall slams. Oh, geez, that blew up a lot. I was not prepared for how much that was going to blow up. Oops, someone over here spitting out attacks. Okay, well we got our coin, a hundred coin. You attempt to buy an Elite, but just went for a Series X controller. How do you find it? It's pretty good. Um, I might, the new, I haven't seen, cause I feel like everyone's been talking about the DualSense, so, and the Series X controller seems to be pretty much the same as the previous controller, maybe a little bit nicer. So I've not heard as many people talk about it. Um, restore 10% of health when you enter a chamber. I mean, that's seven and a half health each time. That would be kind of nice. Um, and I guess we'll buy this as well. I feel like we're, I'm on the brink of things, so maybe I should take the, the Cyclops Jerky as well. Because, as we know, we can't you can't keep the money. The money goes away after the runs. Upon demise, it even says at the bottom, Upon demise, all gold return to Charon. All sales are final. So we may as well spend the money. Uh, we get a little bit more um, health. So you see here, we've got this six encounters, and we'll get it. also the healing on three chambers. So any chamber is, uh, you get it immediately when you enter a chamber. So that includes things where you don't fight. Whereas this only lasts for encounters, which are where you fight stuff. So if we go into a shop, this won't be used, but this will still trigger, I believe, is what that's saying. Very, It's fine, very clicky. Two cash for the elite. Yeah, I mean, it's just so expensive. Um, okay, so we got Artemis and we got Zeus. Let's Let's stick to Zeus for now, I guess. He's been doing us well so far. I mean, Artemis did us pretty well as well, to be honest, but... Uh... Why, it's the barge of death. Oh, of course, the barge of death. Oh, my gosh. I guess we, I could use these to destroy enemies, but that's a little bit scary. Big boom. Trap kill. Okay, well, we've used them to fight enemies. I thought this would be solid, these faces in the ground, but they're not. These guys are impervious. Oh, they're being protected by the thing behind, right? Yeah. Noted. Boof. Slam him into a wall. Get him done. Near miss. Oh, they have big AoEs on them as well.
Okay, so this is just like a long, uh, oh, it's finished. I was gonna say, this is just like a long gauntlet. In the name of Hades. If the PS5 controller works well on PC, go for one of them. I'm tempted, but the thing is, do I want to buy a dual shot, a dual sense? Um, when I don't have a PS5, like they're so expensive. Uh, but then uh, so less expensive than an Elite, I guess. So maybe it would be worth it. Um, I do like the PS4, the PlayStation controller layout in general. Uh, it's probably my favorite. Uh, I think all the controllers, are, the main controllers are all really good now, so it's not too bad either way. We've got the chain lightning. We've got the dash causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. We've got the, the heaven's vengeance again. So pretty much the same as we had before. Um, I'm going to go with the dash. I'm, I'm mostly using my special still, so... I am, yeah, I am planning to get PS5, but then I'd have two controllers. And who needs two controllers? No one, no one goes to each other's house anymore, so... Feels less essential than it maybe used to. <laughs> I'd probably want a second controller eventually, to be fair, but not a immediately going concern. And they do, I believe, give you a controller when you buy a PlayStation 5, so I could just wait until I get a PS5 and then just have that controller, but I'm not getting a PS5 immediately. Okay, so this is locked until we finish the encounter, I'm guessing. Bone rakers. Bone rakers. Don't rake my bones. I need those. Bone Raker. My favourite James Bond film, Bone Raker. To be honest, would you be surprised? Oh no, I'm stoned. I knew that would happen. So it's their projectiles rather than their... Okay, there we go. Oh, A to break free. Interesting. Now, I've got I've to be better at avoiding those. I don't think they get destroyed. Is she still over here? No. Not actually too dangerous, but obviously if there are more enemies around, that would be real trouble for us. That's good. <sighs> Bit more health. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, we could get some gems. Or oh, we get more keys. The keys do unlock weapons, and the gems seem to unlock upgrades that do show up, but I kind of I kind of want to go with the keys. I want to get these weapons unlocked. So that, you know, we have the variety available to us. Spreaders. Spreaders. Oh, oh no. They are spreaders, aren't they? I see why they call them that. I should use my block. I have a block. I need to remember I have a block. Get out of the lava. Oof, okay. We're alright. We're okay. Took a bit more damage there than I would have liked. I, can use this to I do like this feels less uh, immediately punishing than uh, Dead Cells with Dead Cells and this may have changed now since they changed because they re they rejigged the way that defenses work but it used to feel like you could just take like a hit and then suddenly um, you were uh, just dead really quickly and like like a couple of hits would just chain you to death and I think they did that did change a little bit when they changed some of the systems but it felt very intimidating. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything else in here. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything, to be honest. But I think we're okay. I'm very scared about just standing in the lava. Um, health or gold? We're still a little low on health. Uh, we do have a lot of money. So we could maybe buy health in the shop if there is health in the shop. But it is guaranteed health. So... A tough choice. Um... Let's go for the guarantee, I think. Maybe we'll find other ways to spend our money that's not just at Karen's. Ooh, nice little place they've got going on here. Oh, the health's just here. Should keep me going. Beautiful. Oh, well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Oh, and a big gem. Oh, I love a big gem. Give me a gem. Oh, hello. I've seen you. Oh, great. Ah, oh, yes, the Linnaean Bone Hydra, of course. He's got a lot of health. 
I mean, he's a boss, I suppose. That makes sense. It'd be weird if he didn't have a lot of health. Oh, there's loads of them now. I gotta remember to use my special. I'm not using it, uh, not my special, my cast. I'm not using it enough. Oh, get out of there. Don't get hit by that. Shattered him. Is there another one over here? There is. Hello. I think the explosion is really good as well because it's destroying projectiles that are near us, which is nice. Can I attack you again now? Are there more people around? I can. Perfect. Boof. Don't go in the lava. He's taking a lot less damage this time than he was at the start. Oh, he's impervious again. More heads? No! Ah. Oh. It's all over. Oh, I'll get that Hydra. But we made it to a second boss. That feels pretty good. Give nectar to a friend. Sure. I mean, I will say, so far, the uh, Zagreus's canonical best friend appears to be um, the uh, the dog, Cerberus. He does also have, you know, Achilles seems to have maybe given us the weapons, which would be nice. It's usually pretty quiet keeping watch over the pool of sticks back there, but it's sure been busy lately. Why, somebody else came through just earlier. You should have seen the look on my face when it wasn't you. <laughs> oh, that must have been Meg, right? He must be talking about Meg. Glad to keep things interesting. Okay. Nothing for you yet, Hypnos. I guess I didn't talk to Hades last time. Father, what happened to the lounge? Oh you no, I did. Never mind, I did. Fun around here and you I just shot. talked to this guy first. Oh, I had little choice about that boy. You see, after you fled the first time, Cerberus, why he was very much upset. Utterly tore the place to shreds. It's now under repair. All thanks to you. I love that they just cranked the reverb for all of these. I will say, I had to turn up the voice a lot. Like, I had to basically turn everything else down. Their voices are very quiet by default. Um, which is kind of weird because they're gods. But I cranked the voice volume up a fair bit. For not minding the dog while I was out and while you all were here. <laughs> I lay the blame entirely upon you, yes. Who else? It's fortunate that Cerberus has calmed himself since then. Come to his senses, I should say. May you yet come to yours. Perfect. This guy got anything else to say? I guess we can check out the shop. We didn't buy it. We didn't get any crystals. We didn't go the crystal path. So. No, uh. No crystals for now. Um. Guess what, boy? Made it all the way to Asphodel last time. I fully understand how come you never liked it there. Now to trek on back, I guess. Take care. <laughs> I love the emote work there, Kyle. Very good. Despite the underworld prince's optimism, his old companion Cerberus, the multi-headed hound, maintains a somewhat sulky attitude for now. All right, you know what? Let's give him a treat. Look what I got for you, boy. As one of Cerberus's heads receives the prince's gift, another muzzles something back into his hand. No. Oh. Thank you. Ooh, uh, Spike's collar. We can put that on when we fight Meg. That'll be good. You're my good boy. Yes, you are. You're my good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Can we give him a bone? He's got a big pot of bones. No. Yeah. Shame. Love to give him a toss him a bone. Achilles is off duty. Oh, Achilles. Well, it's probably a good thing I didn't try and give him a thing then. Yeah, he's probably off doing Achilles stuff, I guess. Oh, Nix isn't here either. Hey, Meg. When the prodigal son returns, 
Everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. <laughs> Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. If you pass me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're going to be so lucky next we meet out there. Noted. Okay. God. Still probably no rest? Who needs sleep? And now he doesn't want to sleep. Okay. Got a hundred currency. So we could, uh... Perform one additional dash in quick succession. Or we could crank up our chthonic vitality. Um, that feels pretty good. Um, I'll put one in there. And maybe I'll take the greater reflex. The greater reflex does seem pretty nice. Um, I mean, I don't feel like I'm having trouble dashing. I'm not trying to dash too quickly. But uh, the double dash maybe get us out of some hairy situations where maybe the, the normal dash wouldn't and uh we'll hold on to the rest now th this seems okay but i'm at, at the moment i don't feel like i have enough of a grasp on trying to hit foes in the back so i don't want to worry about it too much um i'd rather save my currency for now uh we'll see how a double dash serves us okay so i'm just mashing the button so you can see how quickly it goes Got something new to try. Okay. Um, adds 25 to your life total. I mean, it seems like not really any reason not to wear the old Spikes collar. Here, even mortal companionship can be a turn. Should help. Perfect. Well, an extra 25 health. I'm not going to argue with that. I've gone farther than I can see from here. Ah, so this is just uh, Tartarus. This is just the, the first area, I guess. Noted. Father's chamber reached twenty-five. Hey Skelly, you look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you come to the right place regarding that, there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get for the time being, anyhow. How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. <laughs> something out. <laughs> All right, buddy. I see how it is. Okay. Perfect. And uh, we now have enough coins to unlock the. Uh... Let's see what's in here. Varatha, the eternal spear. Varatha, the eternal spear. What is that thing? Boof. Good range on this. How far does this go? Okay, not quite that far. Pretty far. Hold and release to spin attack. Okay, you are locked in place while you charge that up. Skewer and recall. So that's just a throw. And then we can call it back. As you can't hold that down, it just goes. Like, you, there's no way to... You immediately throw it. Wow. And a big whack. What does that do? That does 20 damage, whereas this does 25. The spin does 50, so it is stronger. The skewer, 25, and back 25. Kind of nice. Got a, got a good selection. The more rooms you clear, it will level up and give you more health. Okay, noted. No, that's the the collar you mean. Yeah, there's a thing over here as well. Look at this. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly, in contrast to the terrifying sprawl that lies beyond. Okay. That orderly, really. Beautiful. Well, I think that might do us for now because it is half eight and I have not had dinner, so. Maybe we'll save the spear for another time. If people are more interested in seeing more Hades, I'm I'm open to, to doing some more uh, alongside Hollow Knight. Um, if not, then I will con definitely continue to play it on my own time. But uh, if people would like to see some more, just let me know. And uh, I'm open to doing some more. This game's fun. 
Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Definitely see why people like it. Um, I will send you guys over to Greenwood, I think, if, in case you want to watch a bit more Hades for the next. Uh, he'll probably be on for about another half an hour if I know his schedule. Uh, maybe another hour. But um, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you, everyone who came along. It was certainly a pleasure. Uh, we will sink and quit and head back to the main menu. And that is going to be Hades. So thank you, everyone who joined. Thank you, everyone who watched. It's a pleasure having you all here. I hope you have a lovely evening. Eat well. Sleep well. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Stay healthy. All that good stuff. And uh, have a lovely time. And I will catch you all very soon. Take care. And uh, I will see you next time. Cheers.